Hey everybody, forgot to tell you my tomato story. Okay, I have a tomato story. Uh, many years ago, um, about a decade ago, I had my raised garden beds going here and I also had my raised garden beds. I had put two raised garden beds in at my parents' house. And, all right, so I guess the moral of the story is there's a difference between knowing and understanding. Knowing and understanding. <laughs> so, with that said, this is my this is my moral of the story. Um, I put in at my parents' house. I had a whole bunch of stuff going here, and I had planted at my parents' house out back uh, a bed of tomatoes, uh, tomatoes on one side, and a bed of habanero peppers on the other side. So just to set you up the story. So now, um, so I had been waiting all summer. I had been um, propagating. I had been uh, tending to the gardens all summer long. I'd go here, I'd water the lawn. I, you know, I had chickens at the time. I dip the water and the chickens and everything. I just, just was taking care of everything. Then I'd go over to my parents' house and I'd do the lawn and I'd water the, uh, water the garden and I'd get everything. Uh, and I had a fence, um, a chicken, chicken fence, chicken wire fence with uh, the garden stakes going all around. The, and I thought I was just so cool. Yes, I'm doing this for my parents. It's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing doing this for my parents. So I, I went up and I saw and I knew, okay, I knew there was a groundhog under my parents' shed. And so that was the knowing. I knew there was a groundhog under my parents' shed, but that wasn't understanding. So, so fast forward, the tomatoes start to get ripe. And the minute they start to get, or the day they start to get ripe, they're all big and luscious and they're green. And they start to turn, turn enough so that you're thinking, oh God, I'm gonna have tomatoes. I'm gonna have tomatoes, this is great. Um, then I come out one day and the tomatoes looked funny. So I looked closer and I looked closer and I looked closer. And that <laughs> groundhog had come out of us and he had taken one bite out of every tomato in the garden bed bite after bite after bite it's kind of like uh, a little old lady who doesn't want you to eat all of her sweets <laughs> so <laughs> put it back let put it back it was the same thing and that's when i understood <laughs> there was a groundhog under my parents shed <laughs> And so we fought the battle all summer long and I won. And you know how I won? Because one day the habanero peppers got, were getting ripe. And I came out and I found one habanero pepper about 10 feet from the raised garden bed with one bite taken out of it. <laughs> and that's when the groundhog understood <laughs> The difference between tomatoes and habaneros. <laughs> Guess which side of the garden was not touched after that. Okay. All right. I hope I amused you anyway. All right. Take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.